All right, guys, I'm making this video because I need to reach out to the community and see if there's anybody willing to collab with a map for the Overcast network. Um, I've been making a map for a while. I've made three videos on the building process. I'll link to them below. But the map is called Table Block, and it's going to be a wool and a monument level both. It's very much inspired by Ender Blast. In Ender Blast, you have this giant cuboid of endstone you have to break into to get wool and take back to your side. On my map, you're going to have to break into a giant cube of bedrock and obsidian. The only side that has obsidian is the top, so you can only break into the top down. Um, I'll explain how I want the map to work, and if there's anybody that's interested in the idea who wants to collab with me, you'll have to leave a comment below letting me know. We can exchange Skype information and uh, talk further from there. But I'm inside the spawn area right now, which is just a die, and it's called Table Block because it's board game themed, if you haven't figured that out already. But um, once you come out of spawn, uh, this building over here from Monopoly is just going to be where all the iron is. And the iron I plan to have regenerate, much like the Green Hill Zone does, the King of the Hill map that's already in use over Overcast Network. So, yeah, the iron, once you break it, it'll just come back after a, a point. And there's power-ups hidden throughout this level. You can watch the making of videos below if you want more details about that. But once you get your iron and your um, power-ups, you would run. I'm going to fly, but you would run across this little gap right here. Cross your team side, and in the middle you're going to find this huge gap you're going to have to tra uh, traverse via bridging. There's not going to be any TNT or water, so you're not going to be able to cannon your way across or anything. So your team's going to have to bridge, and once you bridge across, you're going to have to fight or sneak your way over to where the monuments are. And there's a light gray one and a gray one. And I have indicators up there that are above build height, so those won't be broken. You can just look up to see which side you need to go to. Um, once you get over to the monument, you're going to have to, you know, break through one layer of obsidian. You can spam blocks around you to, like, hide you if you want. Um, but once you get over here, you break one level, you're going to drop down into this little room here. And you're kind of safe here, but kind of not. The other team can shoot through that hole maybe and hit you, but they can't come in themselves. But because they can shoot you, you'll want to run to one of the corners and drop down to the next level pretty quickly. And in this room, it's where the wool spawner is going to be, right here where this wool block is. So once you drop in, you're going to pick up your wool. And these chests aren't going to be here. They're just here now to show the power-ups I want you to get. Uh, in this area, you're going to have Feather Falling, four Diamond Boots, and one Splash Potion that I want to just automatically go into your inventory once you go through this portal. And this portal is how you get out of the monument. So you would go into the portal. Those things would be... Um, transported into your inventory automatically and you would teleport to this location. This is right in front of their spawn still. There's the monument you just went in. And let me fly out so you can get a better view. It's an hourglass to keep with the theme of board games. So you're in a safe area still but it's not completely safe. They can shoot through these doorways I guess but they can't get in here. They won't be able to build up and get into this little area with you. So you can stay in here as long as you want, and as long as you can withstand the arrows that they might be shooting at you. But uh, you can jump out anytime you want, and you're going to have to traverse this map again, get to the giant void in the middle, traverse that again, and then once you're at that point, cross the gap again, you're pretty much home free. All you got to do is place the wool over inside your spawn area, and you're a hero. Your team's going to love you. Um, yeah, the only other thing I need to go over as far as like how it should play is I mentioned the other team wouldn't be able to follow you into the wool room. And that's true. So if there's a yellow guy on the team over there, he comes over, he breaks this obsidian right here, and he falls in. I will not be able to follow him if I'm on this blue team right here. If I was a blue team uh, player and I was to try to go in here, as soon as I fell through this um, obsidian right here, I would be teleported up to a different platform. So I would be teleported to this right here. And I want that to happen for two reasons. Number one is obviously the wool room has to be a safe zone, just like it is in all other wool, uh, capture the wool maps. Um, but also I wanted the monument to serve a purpose, even after it's been broken and the wool's been taken. Most of the time on monument and wool levels, once that area has been broken or the wool's been taken, it's kind of pointless and there's no need to go over there and use it anymore. But I figured, let's say if I'm on the blue team and I saw somebody on the yellow team running away with my wool 
and he got a head start on me. Well, it's possible I could just jump in this hole, and as soon as I jump in it, I could teleport up to that platform, get in front of him, cut him off, and kill him. So it would serve a function still, even though it's been broken, and you know it changes the gameplay just a little bit. I mean, it could even serve as just a time saver. Like, if you're not the type of person that likes to get armor and stuff like that, and some levels I go without armor, so I could just run straight out of spawn, jump into this uh, monument that's been broke, and I'm teleported to the front lines automatically. So, yeah, I just, I thought it would be another thing to make it different from other maps uh, that are monument and wool levels, and, yeah, just make it stand out a little bit different, a little bit more, and, you know, still serve a purpose, so... Yeah, if this looks interesting to you, if you would be interested in collabing with me to finish this map so it might have a chance to get tested or used, uh, let me know. Um, we'll get in contact with each other. But I've already talked to Anthony a little bit, one of the map devs, about um, what he would do with this level as far as like changes that he would make. So at the build it, during the building process, I've talked to him twice and let him look it over and say, hey, do you change anything? And he gave me a few ideas, and I made some changes based on his feedback so you know it already has a little bit of input from you know a map developer in the community so that might help it I don't know um, maybe the other map devs will completely disagree with him when they see it <laughs> and that would be unfortunate but you know at least I've already reached out to a couple people and asked for feedback so yeah anyways thanks for watching thanks for your consideration get in touch